the way, let's talk about the death of Austin's suspected serial bomber. It is still leaving many asking the simple question, why? And, and of course, authorities are hoping to find those answers, not just for themselves, but also for the injured victims and the families of those who were killed. We do have team coverage for you tonight with J.D. Miles, Jason Allen, and I-team investigator Ginger Allen. J.D. is live in Round Rock, where that search for the serial bomber ended. Kaylee, the search for Austin's serial bomber ended right here in that ditch between the service road and Interstate 35 and Round Rock. We don't know yet what Austin police or federal agents found inside the SUV Mark Condit was driving when he died. We do know he had at least one more explosive device, from what authorities say, that he used to kill himself with. Authorities still don't have a motive, but the series of crimes police say he committed affected this city too much not to make every effort to find it. The 23-year-old suspected serial bomber died in a blast on I-35 in Round Rock during the night after officers spotted his vehicle in a motel parking lot. Condit won't live to face trial or questions about why his victims, which included a 39-year-old father of an 8-year-old girl or a 17-year-old student headed to UT on a music scholarship, both killed earlier this month. A 75-year-old victim survived but had to have her leg amputated. Austin Police Chief Brian Manley had a message this morning for those families and the victims. Our heart remains with you as you go through your healing process and your time of sorrow, and we stand by you and with you in your time of need. Now, we have not heard yet from the victims or the injured, fam uh, injured victims uh, about this arrest. We hope to sometime in the near future. Right now, police have cleared this scene. They've moved on over to Pflugerville, where the search is on for more evidence to try to piece together an explanation, a reason, or a motive, if there is one. Live in Round Rock, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you very much from Round Rock. Let's now go over to Pflugerville, just about seven miles away, and this is where Condit lived. Four to six blocks around that area tonight as we join you, including City Hall, were evacuated through the day as bomb technicians found more explosive material. They found bomb components inside his home as well. Jason Allen live nearby, about as close as we can get, imagine. Uh, Jason, they still collecting evidence tonight inside that home? Yeah, they are. In fact, we're a lot closer than we were able to get even just an hour ago, Doug. So let me go ahead and show you what you can see now. And this is the back side of Condit's house. And you can see the ATF truck there on the other side. And in the last 20 minutes or so, we saw investigators out there walking in sort of a grid fashion across that backyard and looking for evidence there at the house. Now, the ATF told us today they did not find any more completed devices inside the house, but they did find what they described as homemade explosive material and also components for making devices. They also said that they've been able to reconstruct each bomb and that the parts that they found in this house matched what was found at the site of the bombings. This was all primarily found in one room of the house. It was a house they called it shared with room roommates. And there is a neighbor across the street who told us he had talked to Condit and his father about the home after they bought it and started renovating it last year. His father communicated, you know, this is something I, you know, I'm wanting to do with my son. You know, it's an opportunity to, to just to bond. And I don't know what his exact words were, but that was a clear message that it was a father that loved his son and was looking for uh, some means to prolong that relationship. Police told us that they expect investigators to be at the house for several more hours, collecting evidence, anything that relates to a motive, as well as it relates to potentially how Condit had the intelligence to put together all of these devices. We're live in Pflugerville. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Really still so many questions tonight, Jason. Thank you for that. Condit's aunt releasing a statement on behalf of the family that says, in part, right now our prayers are for those families that have lost loved ones, for those impacted in any way, and for the soul of our mark. We are grieving, and we are in shock. Please respect our privacy as we deal with this terrible, terrible knowledge and try to support each other through this time.